Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Ainsley Fuhrer with your Hedge Fund Headlines. Today is Wednesday, April 1, 2009. Blackstone has rejected the Securities and Exchange Commission's request to publicly disclose the performance of its buyout and hedge funds. According to the Wall Street Journal, the regulator had asked both Blackstone and Fortress Investment to include fund returns in their financial reports, regarding which the latter conceded. Several listed asset managers do not disclose the performance of institutional funds, but have, been, have not been called by the SEC. Staying with hedge fund news, Google is planning to commit $100 million in the first year to its planned venture capital fund. According to the Wall Street Journal, William Morris, a former entrepreneur hired to start the fund, and Rich Miner, a former executive in Google's mobile unit, might be partners with the fund. The fund is planning to function less like a traditional corporate venture arm, and instead, the company is going to manage for returns and will mull over a large range of investments. It is expected to be named Google Ventures. And in more hedge fund news, Aquila Capital, a German alternative investment firm, has floated a new farm property development fund. According to the Financial Times, Aquila Capital Agra Opportunity is planning to raise about $400 million with a first capital raising of $100 million. The fund, to be managed by Detlef Schoen, will invest in farm properties in Brazil, Australia, and New Zealand, and will target returns of 20% over a minimum of five years. And in other hedge fund news, a Macau theme park and casino development company, along with its hedge fund supporters, is planning to restructure a loan of about $340 million. According to the Wall Street Journal, the loan, taken three years ago, included Merrill Lynch, with, which holds about $100 million of the loan. U.S. hedge funds Oxif Capital Management and TPG Axon Capital Management will take a loss of about half of their investment in the Fisherman's Wharf project in Macau. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto our Hedge Funds channel online and read the full stories and latest developments.